Sojin, and you're here with Athlete of the Week. Check out my segments to get your weekly updates on all the athletes here at OTHS. Hey, Mr. Lambusta. It's a pleasure to have you here today as a former legendary football coach here at Ocean Township. So usually on this segment called Athlete of the Week, we interview a coach of a sports team and ask them who they would like to spotlight from their team who's shown great leadership and skill throughout the season. I've been very um, happily surprised, but I shouldn't say surprised because I always knew he had a lot of talent and potential, but I'm very pleased with the uh, progress and so far the performance of Coach Mark Tomo. He's running the defense right now. He's a former Big Red player, um, knows the tradition, knows how important Big Red football is, and he uh, played for me uh, back in, around the early 2000s, and it's really, really, I got a lot of pride seeing him do great. The defense has really risen. Uh, the last two games shut out Neptune seven nothing, and and Madawan only scored a field goal. So he's been doing an outstanding job, and I'm really proud of uh, Mark Tomo. And I'd like to, uh, I think everybody should know what a great job he's doing so far. So as a cheerleader, it's really funny that you say that because a lot of the football fans have been coming up to me complimenting the football team on their defense this year. So his hard work is really showing, and it's definitely paying off. Yeah, he's doing an outstanding job, and he has a lot of help and support from all the staff members, from Coach Klein to Coach Simonelli to Coach uh, Delapasca. But you know, Coach Tomo's really, you know, kind of, you know, risen. His star is rising, and he's uh, his little bit head and shoulders above, you know, his peers right now with the amount of work and effort he's put in and the success he's had. And I just hope he continues to have success, and with the whole team playing well together, and you know, him him helping out with uh, everyone else. It's just, uh, you know. It's, Hoping good things just continue. Being that the varsity football team's record is three and zero, all the coaches must be doing something, right? Offense has been has been playing well, also, and I think everybody expected the offense to do well because we have a lot of returning uh, stars. But there was a lot of returning stars on defense too, and we weren't sure how the defense was going to perform. So this has been a real pleasant surprise. How the defense has really, really, you know, been performing very well thus far. A lot of challenges still ahead. A lot of work to do. Um, you know, they're not there yet, but boy, they sure have been looking good lately. If you could give one piece of advice to all the student athletes here at OTHS, what would that advice be? Books first, study first, homework first, grades first, family, and then let's do the sports. Let's, be, let's excel at all three. Let's be good students, good citizens, good family members and great athletes. Let's, let's do the whole thing. That's my words. Because you're not going anywhere. You're not playing any college football, baseball, tennis, uh, golf, cheerleading, uh, what is this thing here, field hockey, lacrosse. You ain't doing any of that if you don't have the grades. So keep up the good work. We switched it up a bit this week by asking Mr. Lambasta to spotlight a coach as opposed to a student. And he chose to spotlight you. How does that make you feel? Uh, that makes me feel good. Uh, Mr. Lambusta was my football coach, so I'm glad that he would pick me for something like this. You were a former student athlete here, and now you're a coach. What have you implemented to change athletics here at OTHS? Um, some of the things I tried to do is bring back some of the old traditions that we did. Uh, with our defense, we brought back the assassin stripes, and each kid gets a nickname. So that's something new that we're doing this year that we've done in the past, but we're bringing it back. What is an assassin stripe? Uh, so if a kid has a perfect game or a big game on defense, he gets a stripe across his helmet after a win, and he gets a nickname and a t-shirt with it. I always wondered what those were. What is your fondest memory here as an athlete and as a coach? Uh, my fondest memory as an athlete probably was getting my assassin stripe as a kid. And my fondest memory as a coach is when the kids come back and say, I appreciate what you did for me. Now that you have been spotlighted, what student athlete would you spotlight? Uh, I think you'd have to take Lieutenant Dan Loizos and speak to him. He's the leader of our defense. Thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate it, and I wish you best of luck in your season. Thanks, Sarah. Stay tuned to find out next week's Athlete of the